All right, in this video, before we do the assembly for our bench clamp, I want to make the, a little snap retention ring that would go on to these lead screws. And this isn't actually part of the blueprint drawing, but it would be part of an assembly if we were putting something like this together. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to create this um, using this drawing to see what our general shape is and then some of the dimensions off of this lead screw. So we want to go over and we want to say new and new part. All right. And so we're going to go to our front plane. We're going to say new sketch and let's draw in some reference lines. All right. So draw in this reference line too. All right. We're going to start off by doing the little kind of boxes up on the top that the uh, that the retaining holes are in. So let's go and we'll do our box tool. And we'll draw in a square here. We'll do smart dimensions. And we can look at some of our dimensions here. So we know that our uh, our screw that the lead screw that's running this clamp is an M18. So, um, and we know that the groove depth on that screw is at least, is two. So we want our, our retaining clips to stick out from that groove. So uh, let's go with a dimension for four on this. Say four by four. Uh, we want the gap between to be a one gap. So let's go here to here. We'll make this 0.5. And we'll make our distance from this point here down to the line. We're going to make that seven because we know that that uh, internal part of that ring is going to be 14. So we'll make that seven. All right. Now we have that fully defined. We can say, okay, we can select this and we're going to mirror this about the center line. So we'll have a second block there and say, okay. All right. And now we want to start drawing the circle part of the ring. So to do that, we want to go to our three point arc up here, or our center point arc, excuse me. We'll pick this center here. We'll go up, we'll pick this point, start rolling this around. And we want to go up and we want to pick that point right there. All right. So that gives us the inside part of our ring. Now the outside part of our ring, we're going to do the center point arc again. We're going to pick here. We're going to go a little ways up on here. We don't want to go to that to the center of that square necessarily. Um, and we're going to draw around and up. If we were to go to the center of that, if we wanted to make this ring wider or smaller, we'd have to then go in and break that um, relationship. If we don't go to the center, it makes it so that that relationship's not necessarily there. And that allows us to, to mess around with things a little bit. All right, so now we can go in here and we'll go trim entities. And we're going to, and the trim entity tool lets you trace around and any line you go through when you're tracing around will then get deleted. And there we go. And now you can see that this full part is shaded. That lets us know that we don't have, that we don't have any gaps at our points here and we don't have any stray little lines that are sticking into anything. All right, so then we'll go in on our smart dimensions and we can see that our inner our inner circle is already defined because we told it where these corners are at. So that's a start and end point. This outer circle, we need to define it. So if we pull away from here. We can see that right now our radius is 9.8. We want that ring to stick out from that groove at least a little bit, right? So um, our bolt is an M18. If we make our ring to have a radius of 10, then it will have an outside diameter of, of 20. And that will give at least uh, a millimeter of surface that's sticking out from that side. So let's make this a 10. You can see that that shifts this line a tiny bit up here, right? So um, we need to redefine this line. So we can actually click off of the dimensions tool. If we just click on this line and we tell it we want it to be vertical, it adjusts its itself over and now that it's vertical, it's now referenced to this corner in here. So 
we now have that line being vertical and fully defined. All right, so at this point in time, our ring shape is fully defined. We wanna put in our circles for our holes where the tool that was going to take this retention ring on or off would go. So let's go in, we can uh, pick our, our center point uh, circle tool here and we can draw in our line and we'll go to our smart dimensions and we'll say we want this to be a two millimeter hole we want it to be from this surface to this surface we're going to make it two and from this point to this surface we're going to make it two that way it's centered inside of that that piece all right and we say okay all right now we can select this again and we can say mirror entities and we will mirror it around this line so say we, okay so now we've got that there and there and then the final thing we want to do you can see up on the ring that this curve right here that this point is not a sharp point it's actually got a curve to it so we'll go up and we'll go to our sketch fillet and 10 is going to be a little too big and so it's just going to blow it out right away so let's try three and then we go in and we can just pick this point here uh, it looks like it will work and we can pick this point here and we'll say okay and now you see that that ring is is curved in. Now these other sharp points will actually curve those over once we've extruded this. So we say okay and then we can go to feature and we can say extruded boss base. So if we look at the drawing of our of our lead screw up there we can see that that gap is a two millimeter gap. Now we want a little bit of uh, slop in there so that the string could sit down into that gap. So let's make our extrusion 1.8. All right, and you can see that it's already already has got the inner holes not being um, not being included in that. So if we say okay, we can say and we're done, and now we can see that we have this part drawn here. Okay, so like I said, let's curve over these these edges a little bit. So we can go up here and we can go to our fillet tool. We want to make sure it's just the corner fillet that's selected. And um, let's make it a 0.5 round over. So now if we go in and we select our lines, we want to select, make sure we're selecting our lines and not the faces. Because if you select the faces, a whole bunch of stuff can, it can kind of go a little bit wonky real quick. And we don't want these outside faces necessarily to be curved over. So select those three faces we say okay all right and there's the shape for our retention ring is done um, we'll go in and let's uh, give it a color and so let's make the whole thing this kind of peach color all right all right and so we'll save this as say okay so we're done with our coloring and we'll go up and we'll save this part as part 10 in our folder. All right, now that's saved as part 10 and we'll use it during our assembly video.